At these moments Ocheritino fell completely. Russian flag in the center of Ocheritino. Ukrainian public pages write that Ocheritino has indeed been completely abandoned by the enemy. Judging by scraps of information, having lost the battle in the center of a populated area, the Ukrainian troops simply abandoned the rest of the Oporniks in panic. And even the 47th Brigade was unable to resolve anything, or did not have time. A beautiful victory. And judging by the lack of video from the Ukrainians and the cheerful mood of the Russian attack aircraft, the losses were relatively small. The fall of Ocheritino will have very serious consequences for the enemy. In fact, the Ukrainian army has lost a key position on a hill, which provides access to the flank and even the rear of other enemy positions in the area of the village. Relying on this village, the Russian armed forces can develop an offensive in several directions at once as soon as they tighten up the logistics, and the enemy, in turn, will experience increasing flank pressure. The one who planned the operation to free Ocheritino is a damn genius. With one blow, the second line of defense of the Ukrainian armed forces west of Avdivka was actually broken through. In the coming week we will see active painting of maps in red to the west of Avdivka. Footage of the hoisting of the Russian flag on the military civil administration building in Ocheritino appeared on the internet. The soldiers stand at full height, without fear of shelling and calmly moving around the territory. There are practically no sounds of shooting in the background, which indicates the relative safety of being in the center of the village. At the moment, the northern part of the settlement and the water canal area are being cleared, where scattered enemy groups may still remain. Also, the territory of the Altcom brick factory, located on the western outskirts of the village, still remains under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces.